or hip distance apart. So it's two fifths of distance between the big toe mounts. Feel the ground supporting you. Rocking forward and backward till you find stability over center. A little bit of length through the tailbone to engage the tummy, pulling the navel toward the spine. And then we'll inhale the hands to the hips, elbows tracking to the back of the room. Keep the core nice and tight for balance as you start to balance on the right foot and take a giant step back with your left, finding your warrior two stance. So for me, this is my heel of my front foot intersecting the arch of my back foot. We want to be careful that the heel of the back foot is the furthest thing on the back of the mat behind you. Glancing down over our right knee, our right knee starts to track over the second toe. So glance down and make sure you can see it there. And then we settle in. So inhaling the arms to shoulder height, palms face down. We engage the shoulders by rolling the palms up. Feel how the shoulders hug around the spine. Keep that and then rotate the palms down. And here, notice your tendency. Whether you tend to reach for the future or settle back into the past, we want to try to find center. And we do that here by tucking through the tail, rooting down through the spine, up through the crown of the head. And take a deep breath reaching through the fingertips, equal and opposite. The right thigh muscle is hugging to that bone. Pressing back through the outer edge of the left foot. Gazes over the right middle finger. And from here, as you exhale, start to reach forward, reach forward, reach forward. And then we take our right elbow to the right knee, palm face up. Using the right knee to drive, or the right elbow to drive the right knee open to the pinky toe side of the foot. And then we sweep our left arm high, gazing up maybe at your left thumb. Side angle pose. If you'd like extended side angle, we sweep the left arm forward and resting bicep just beside the ear. Fingertips reach to the top corner of the room now. Making sure there's a nice spot of space between your right shoulder and your ear. One more breath as you rotate the ribcage, stacking left armpit on top of right. And using the strength of the right leg, we exhale, press into straight legs, up and back, reverse straight legs pose. There's not a lot of weight in my left hand. If anything, you can tuck it behind your back or resting on your left leg, anywhere but your knee. One more inhale here, point through the right big toe. There's a softest little bend in the right knee, reaching for the back of the room. And as you exhale, we sweep the right, heart, right arm forward, guide the heart and pivot onto your right heel, finding wide leg forward fold. And from here, there's a softest little bend in the knees, rock forward into the toes, back into the heels, so you find your hips resting over center, right about the arches of the foot. If hands don't come to the ground easily, there will be a softer bend in the knees if we need it. Inhale to walk the hands out to a flat back tenting through the fingertips, reach through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, we walk the hands to the top of the mat, pivot to a runner's lunge, coming to the ball of the back foot. And here we settle down, engaging through the back heel, trying to lift the back of the left knee toward the ceiling. Inhale with a long straight spine here. And exhale, walk your right heel off to the right side of your mat, making space to bring your shoulders over your wrist creases for lizard pose. And you can feel free to stay here, palms planted. Weight's gonna stay on the big toe side of the foot. We wanna make sure we continue to hug the right knee toward the sideways. That's where this pose gets most of its horsepower. Shoulders engaged around the spine for a nice long neck and neutral. If you'd like to stay here, stay here. If you need a little more, you can come down to forearms. But again, if that back leg's lifted, it's really lifted. Option is to take the left knee all the way down to the mat. Whether you're looking back at your knee or your toes, go there now. Soften something while keeping the integrity of the pose. Relax the back of the neck. Notice if the mind has wandered. Thoughts or judgments. Anticipation for what's to come. Just be here right now. With the next breath in. We'll plant the hands, tuck through the back toes, and take a big step forward. Left foot steps outside, pinky, pinky finger side of your left hand. 
heels turn in, toes turn out, we lower the seat for malasana squat, goddess squat. Palms come, to, uh, come together, elbows drive knees apart. And even though we're deeply folded here, I'm trying to lift my tailbone like a back bend, like thinking about cow pose. And as you inhale, let's lift the gaze, let the mouth fall open, maybe close the eye. And exhale, chin to chest, stretch the back of the neck. Gaze floats open, hands come to the mat, inhale, lift the hips, heel toe ball the feet back to that outer hip distance. And use the inhale, roll to rise, stack vertebrae on top of vertebrae. Big reach, maybe a little back bend. Tuck the tail, lean back into the shoulders, lift the heart, and exhale, hands to heart, center. Damasiti here, we begin again, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart center, pull it in hands to the hips. Elbows engage to the back of the room. Feel balance as you transfer the weight to the left foot. This time, giant step back with our right. Finding your warrior two setup. Take the time here to feel if you want to move your front leg or your back leg. It's transfer personal preference over time. And here, inhale. Breathing from the collarbones out through the fingertips. Palms at heart level. Maybe inhale, do that rotation. Keep that in the shoulders, palms down. Glance down, make sure you can see your big toe just past your left knee. Soften the place between the eyebrows. And as you exhale, we reach forward, 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 and then take the left elbow down to the left knee. Right arm reaches toward the ceiling, glance up to see your thumb. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Powerful back leg. Long line of energy from the pinky toe side of the right foot out the crown of the head. Maybe you finish by sweeping, reaching through the right fingertips. Extended side angle. And with your next inhale, lead with those right fingertips. Straighten into the left leg. Straight leg reverse, reach for the back of the room. Again, you can take the hand behind the back or just rest it on top of the leg very gently. And exhale. Pivot on the front heel, sweep the left arm forward, finding your wide leg forward fold. And here I use my mat as a marker, using the outer edges of my feet, making sure they're parallel with the short edge of my mat as I face the long edge. Rock the weight into the toes, back into the heels, little circles, draw circles on the floor with your head, let it go. And inhale, walk the fingertips forward, long flat back. And exhale, pivot to runner's lunge, top of the mat. On the ball of the back foot here for just a moment. Kicking back through the right heel, lifting the back of that right knee toward the ceiling. And then we heel toe ball the foot off to the left side, making space to accommodate the shoulders over the wrists. And here we might notice that both sides are not created equal, and we're okay with it, live with it. This is how it is. The, uh, the things we do all day create some imbalance in both sides of the body. Driving, sitting, kicking, whatever it is. So finding a variation of lizard pose that works for you. Bhutan Pristasana, second side. Maybe I take my knee down here, that feels good for me. On this side, maybe we come down, forearms make an 11, my elbows underneath my shoulders. Soften the little muscles of the back of the neck, look back at your knee or your toes. Let the belly be soft as the left thigh continues to hug toward the midline. Use that breath to soften something, to allow you a little deeper. Not where you want to be tomorrow, not where you were yesterday, to breathe into where you are right now. And lifting the gaze, plant the hands. We take a big step forward, right foot comes outside to the right of our right hand. Here we'll keep the toes parallel and we'll take a soft bend into the knees. Left hand plants beneath the pit of the throat. Here's if you have a block, it's super helpful here. Otherwise just be more generous in the bend at the knees. Right hand comes to the hip, deep bend at the left knee as I straighten my right, I lean back into my shoulders. And exhale, looking up at my right thumb, lean back into the shoulders as I rock forward to the toes, reaching through the crown of the head. 
gentle twist. One more inhale here. And exhale, float the right hand down to where the left hand was. Again, engage the weight to the tops, to the balls of the feet, like you're gonna fall all the way forward. Left hand comes to the left hip crease. And exhale, bend into the right knee, straighten into the left, lean back into the shoulders and offer the heart, the crown of the head to the front of the room. Maybe you'd like to finish by straightening through the left arm, look up and see where from. Use the exhale to pull the navel to the spine, deepen into this gentle twist. And with the next exhale, we float the left hand down to the mat. Heel toe wall the feet back to that hip distance apart. Inhale with a long flat back. Exhale, fold, soft knees. Inhale, roll to rise, pick it up. Big reach. And heart center. Close the eyes, Tadasana Mountain Pose. 